Hello all, welcome to this new lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed about arithmetic operators and its evaluation. And in this lesson, we are going to discuss about relational operators. And I'm also going to teach you how to evaluate relational operators when given in an expression. Okay, so let's get started. What do you mean by relational operators? Relational operators are those operators which when evaluated will result in either a true value or a false value. Okay, so we must understand this fact that in C language, a value of zero is considered as false and a value of one is considered as true. Okay, it means uh, if given expression evaluates as true, then we must consider its result as one. Okay, similarly, if any expression results as false, then we must consider the result of that evaluation as zero, right? So in C language, okay, a value of zero is considered as false and a value of one is considered as true. Okay, so having said that, now let us see how many relational operators are there in C language. There are six relational operators in C language, right? So they are less than, okay, less greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, equal to, equal to, and not equal to, right? So before learning how these operators work, it is important that you must know how to read expressions that involves relational operators. For example, as you can see on the screen, there is an expression, okay, which says four less than operator three, right? So you must first know how to read such expressions, right? So whenever you are reading expressions that involves relational operators, you must bring a question format to it. For example, let me read this for you, okay? So when I'm reading four less than three, you must notice that I am bringing a question format to it. It means, is the value of four less than three? Did you observe the question format over here? Is the value of four less than three? Okay, so when you bring this expression in a question format, then you will have to answer whether it is yes or no, right? So you will have to give an answer for that question, either as yes or no, or true or false, right? So if the answer is yes, then the result of that expression is one. And if the answer is no, then the result of that expression is zero, right? So let us solve all these uh, expressions one by one so that you will be in a better position to understand how relational operators work, right? So again, let me start from first, okay? Is the value of four less than three? No, false. Therefore, the result of this expression is zero, right? Again, is the value of four greater than three? Yes, it is true. Therefore, the result of this expression is one. Similarly, is the value of nine less than or equal to eight? False, it is not less than, nor it is equal to eight. Therefore, this will result in a zero value, right? Now, is the value of seven greater than or equal to nine? No, again, seven is not greater, nor it is you know, equal to nine. Therefore, this will result in a value of zero, right? Similarly, is the value of six equal to equal to six? It means that is the value of, you know, value on the left-hand side as well as the value on the right-hand side, okay, uh, same as each other, right? Is the value of six equal to equal to six? Yes, therefore, it is true and the result is one, right? Now, is the value of three not equal to five? Absolutely, yes, three is not equal to five. Therefore, the result is again true, which is nothing but one, okay? Now, coming to this, is the value of three less than five? Yes, true, therefore, the result is one, okay? Now, is the value of five greater than nine? False, five is not greater than nine, therefore it results in false, which is nothing but zero. Is eight less than or equal to eight? We know that eight is not less than eight, but it is equal to eight, isn't it? It says eight is the value of eight less than or equal to eight, therefore it is true, right? It should either be less than or equal to, right? So it is equal to, therefore the expression results in a true value and therefore the answer is one, right? Is the value of nine greater than or equal to three? It is not equal to, but it is greater than, therefore this will result in a true value, which is nothing but one. Okay, now is the value of five equal to equal to six? Absolutely no, five is not equal to six. Therefore the expression becomes false and the result is zero. Similarly, okay, is five not equal to five? It is false because five is equal to equal to five, right? So is five not equal to five becomes false and therefore the result of this expression is zero. Okay, so I think now you are in a position to understand how to read and evaluate, you know, expressions that involves relational operators. Okay, so having said that, let us now go and evaluate a bigger expression, okay, which contains uh, multiple uh, relational operators which are put together. Okay, so let's go on. 
Now, as you can see, this is expression one, and I have a very big expression which contains multiple relational operators. It says two less than four, greater than or equal to three, not equal to five, less than four, equal to equal to four, less than or equal to one. Right. So it's a, uh, a bigger expression. As usual, okay, as we discussed in our arithmetic operators, there is always a confusion while evaluating a bigger expression that contains multiple operators, isn't it? And the confusion is, okay, whom should I evaluate first, right? So which operator should be given the highest priority, right? So uh, C language, uh, C language helps us in you know avoiding such confusion by giving this priority rule. And in C language, okay, so uh, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, all these operators are given the highest priority. And the second priority is given to equal to equal to and not equal to. Okay, so it means that, okay, so in this expression, we will have to first evaluate all the operators that has the highest priority. And once we evaluate all these high priority operators, only then we can evaluate the second priority operators that is equal to equal to and not equal to, right? So first let us go ahead and evaluate all these operators which are having the highest priority, right? So among these, among this expression, who is having the high priority? less than, okay, greater than or equal to, okay, again, less than and less than or equal to, right? So these are having the high priority and the second priority is given to not equal to and equal to equal to, isn't it? But again, okay, there is again a confusion when you have you now multiple operators in an expression that has the same priority, isn't it? Now, as you can see, less than, greater than or equal to, less than again and less than or equal to. All these are having the same priority, which is nothing but the highest priority. Now among these, whom should I evaluate, right? So this is the second confusion that we have. And whenever we have an expression that contains multiple operators with the same priority, then we must use associativity rule, right? This was discussed in our previous lesson. Okay, so what does associativity rule tell you? Associativity rule will tell you that whenever you have an expression that contains uh, operators with, you know, multiple operators with the same priority, then whom should you evaluate first, right? No, it could either be left to right or it could be right to left. And all relational operators will follow left to right associativity. It means that in this expression, okay, whichever operator comes first, we will have to first evaluate that from left side to right side, okay? And then go ahead and start evaluating the rest of the operators. Right. So having said that, let us start evaluating this, uh, you know, expression one by one. Right. So let me solve it over here. As we know that, okay, uh, let me write down the priority here. Less than is having high priority. Greater than or equal to is also having the high priority. Less than is again having the high priority. And uh, less than or equal to is again having the high priority. Whereas not equal to and equal to equal to are having the second priority. Okay. So first I will have to evaluate less than operator because this is coming first from left to right. Right. So now. So is the value of two less than four? Okay, no, uh, yeah, uh, two is less than four. Yes, true, therefore the result is one and the rest I will keep it as it is. Greater than or equal to three, not equal to five, less than four, equal to equal to four, less than or equal to one. Okay, so one operator is evaluated. Now let me go to the next one, which is having the high priority, which, um, because this comes first from left to right, right? So. One is one greater than or equal to three, false. Therefore, this results in zero. Zero not equal to five, less than four, equal to equal to four, less than or equal to one. Okay, now which one should I evaluate first? I will have to evaluate less than because this comes under second priority. Therefore, I will have to evaluate this only after evaluating all the high priority operators. So I will keep this as it is. And then let me evaluate this, okay, which comes first from left to right. So five less than four is again false. Five is not less than four. This, therefore, this will result in a zero value equal to equal to four less than or equal to one, right? So now I cannot evaluate equal to equal to because you know this comes under second priority uh, operator because we have again a high priority operator pending. So I'll have to first evaluate this. Therefore, zero not equal to zero equal to equal to four less than or equal to one is four less than equal to one it is basically false four is not less than or equal to one therefore this will result in a zero value okay so as you can see now i don't have any high priority operators what is pending is only second priority operators so whom should i evaluate first whichever comes first from left to right using the associativity rule i will have to evaluate this correct so is zero not equal to zero becomes false Okay, therefore zero again equal to equal to zero, right? So is zero equal to equal to zero? Yes, true. Therefore the answer is one. Now, 
the after evaluating this expression involving relational operators the final answer that i get is the value is 1 okay so this is how you evaluate your relational expression okay which involves relational operators as an example i felt i should solve one more example so that you will understand it better okay so i have expression 2 so let me solve this once again right so let me first write down all the high priority operators let me make note of it so less than is having high priority greater than or equal to is having high priority even this is having high priority okay this is having second priority uh high priority okay second priority and high priority right so as the priority rule says i will have to first evaluate all the high priority operators and then i will have to evaluate all the second priority operators and according to the associativity rule relational operators follows left to right associativity it means out of all these operators okay so i'll have to evaluate those operators which comes first from left to right right so now let me start that is one less than one right it is false therefore it is zero rest i will keep it as it is okay uh, greater than or equal to 2 less than or equal to 3 equal to equal to 1 greater than 4 not equal to 3 less than 1 okay so now uh, I will have to evaluate the next high priority operator, which comes first from left to right, right? So is zero greater than or equal to two? Again, this is false. Zero less than or equal to three, equal to equal to one greater than four, not equal to three less than one, right? Now I will have to evaluate the next high priority operator, which comes first from left to right, which is nothing but zero less than or equal to three, right? So zero is less than or equal to three, this becomes true. Therefore it is one equal to equal to one greater than four, not equal to three less than one. Okay. Now I cannot evaluate uh, equal to equal to because this comes under second category, second priority. Okay. And yes, but now we have greater than which comes under the high priority and this comes first from left to right. Therefore I will have to evaluate this first. So I'll keep this equal to equal to as it is. And then I will start evaluating this, right? So is one greater than four false. I will write zero. Okay, not equal to three less than one, right? So I cannot evaluate equal to equal to or not equal to until I complete all the high priority operators. As you can see, there is one pending high priority operator, which is less than. So let me evaluate this before you know evaluating equal to equal to and not equal to. Therefore, one equal to equal to zero, not equal to is three less than one uh, becomes false. Three is not less than one. Therefore, it becomes false, right? So as you can see now, there is no high priority operators. There is only uh, second priority operators that is equal to equal to and not equal to. And because equal to equal to comes first, okay, from left to right, I will have to evaluate that first, okay? So is one equal to equal to zero? It is false. Therefore, zero. And I will keep the next as it is zero, not equal to zero. Now, after evaluating this zero, not equal to zero, we get the value as zero is not equal to zero becomes false because zero is equal to equal to zero. Therefore, is the value zero, not equal to zero becomes false. Therefore, the value is actually zero. Therefore, after evaluating this expression, the final answer that we get is the value of zero, which is nothing but false. Okay. So to test whether our evaluation is right or wrong, we'll just open our dev C++ ID and do this practically so that we'll understand if our uh, evaluation method is right or wrong. We can cross verify that. All right. So let me open my uh, dev C++ ID. As you can see, the result of the first expression has been stored in the value of A. And the result of second expression has been uh, stored in the value B. Okay. So later I print the value of A and B. So let us compile and run this code and see uh, whether we get the right answer as we got when we solved it manually. Okay. So let me first compile this program. Uh, so there are no errors or warnings. Now I am good to go. Let me run this code. The answer says the value of A is 1 and the value of B is 0. Okay. So let me cross verify if I've got the same result. Okay. The first expression. Okay, results in one and the second expression results in a value of zero, right? So the first expression resulted in one and the second expression resulted in zero. So let me run it once again, one and zero. As you can see, it is one and zero. It means that our understanding of relational operators is correct and we have we also have understood the evaluation of relational operators in the right manner. Okay, so having said that, okay, so uh, as an assignment, I'm giving you one more expression that has to be solved by yourself. 
Okay, so the expression goes like this: five less than four, not equal to five, equal to equal to six, less than or equal to one, greater than four, greater than or equal to three, less than seven. Okay, so I want you to pause the video right now and uh, grab a pen and a book and start scribbling it in your notebook. And uh, once you get the result, please do uh, comment uh, here in this comment section because I want to know how many of you have got the right answer for this expression. This is all for this lesson. Okay, so in the upcoming lesson, I will be discussing about uh, logical operators and how to evaluate them in an expression, right? So having said that, hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you like this lesson, uh, please do like this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my uh, upcoming updates on my lessons on this programming series. Okay, so having said that, meet you in the next lesson. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Love you all so much.